Hello, my name is Thayer Period, and here's how I remade the Beat 2 B remix by Vegas Made Chris, originally produced by Jay Dalla and Zach Samuel. So the first thing I remade was this piano part. made this piano in Serum and here's how it sounds with no effects. Loki almost sounds better with no effects. So very similar to all the other um, Serum pianos I have made before, we have two sine waves with our second one pitched up an octave and we are FMing our oscillator A as you can see by 28% from our pitched up second oscillator. We have our levels mapped to the velocity control and we just have the volume of the second oscillator turned down a bit compared to the first one. We also have a low pass filter enabled just to kind of cut all the extra high frequencies that didn't need to be there. And you'll see we are using our envelope one to control the cutoff of that low pass filter just to give a little bit of movement just to kind of close off that sound as time progresses. We have a nice bit of release on our envelope as well, just so there is a nice natural fade out to our sound to kind of recreate that natural piano feel. In real life, instruments don't just cut off abruptly. They have kind of like a tail to them. So I'd say like the next most interesting thing going on is we're using our LFO one to um, modulate the pan. So we are actually having the sound shift left and right at a decent rate. If you watch up here near this volume knob, you'll see it shifting back and forth. This is kind of recreate that sound that roads have. They tend to do this in real life, so it's a good way to emulate that. Then we are also using this LFO one, as you'll see here, to control the master volume of the sound. So not only is the sound getting um, moved left and right, back and forth, it's also going up and down in volume to kind of further add to that like stuttery wavy motion. Then for effects, the first thing I did was just add a high pass filter. Then just ran it through a compressor just to squash it a little bit and boost it around 5 dB. Next, I ran it through a phaser with our mix around 56%. Good example of a subtle phaser. It's not all phasers have to have that phaser sound. Then I just boosted our high end with an EQ and finished it off with a really basic delay and reverb. The next sound I remade was this lead. Again, I remade this in Serum, nothing super crazy going on. Same kind of trick going on as our piano. We have just two sine waves and we are FMing our first oscillator by our second oscillator, but you'll see that they are both the same pitch and our oscillator B is turned all the way down. I find just a pure sine wave by itself is sometimes not powerful enough to kind of cut through the mix. So adding a little bit of FM just kind of helps beef it up a little bit, make it a little easier to hear in comparison to everything else. I'll show you AB with and without the FM and you can judge for yourself. It's subtle, but it does make a difference. Here's how it sounds with no effects. As you can see, we also have our mono legato and portamento enabled with 61 milliseconds of portamento. Then for effects, the first thing I added was a soft clipper just with our drive at 57%. Just to kind of beef it up again, like I said. Then I ran it through an EQ, boosting our high end. And then I just added a delay and reverb. Next thing I added was this bell. super duper crazy going on here. This is just the Breath Bell 1 from Purity. Here's how it sounds with no effects. So the first thing I did was just add a transient master and I just reduced our attack by 100% and left the sustain alone just to kind of make it a little less sharp. Then I just added an OTT on 34%, uh, boosting our highs a bit and cutting our mids. And finally, I just added a really, really intense uh, EQ, just cutting everything below 1.5K and everything above 3K, just because it is a very kind of background sound. And so these frequencies are kind of making it almost too sharp to like, it didn't need to be as powerful as it was. Next thing I added was this squishy synth. Huge shocker, I remade this in Serum. Here's how it sounds with no effects. 
So this is actually probably the most complex sound in this remake, honestly. Got a decent amount going on. So the first thing I did was just select a square wave for both of our oscillator A and B. And we are using velocity controls to control the level of both of our oscillators. I don't think I'm actually doing anything with that in the piano roll, so I'm not sure why I did that. But And as you can see by this automation amount, um, our oscillator B is about half of the volume of our oscillator A. And they both have four voices of unison with the detune turned down a bit to around 0.02. So you're going to see, though, we have pulse width modulation on both of our oscillators. And essentially what this is doing is like shifting the waveform, making it sound like more squishy, high pitched. It's really hard to describe, but I'll show you what happens as I turn that like value up so you can hear it in real time. As you can see, the actual like pitch is not going up, but it's like the timbre of it changes to make it almost sound like it is. Definitely an interesting trick. Then to get that squishy sound, I used the classic super resonant low pass filter technique. We have a really, really high resonant low pass filter with our cutoff being uh, modulated by our envelope one. This gives it some nice stank. Then for effects, I just started by adding a chorus just to widen it out a tiny bit. Then I just cut our low end with an EQ and through a pretty basic delay and reverb on it. The final like melodic thing I remade was this pluck. Huge shocker again, I made this in serum. Here's how it sounds with no effects. Just a pretty basic plug. We have a sine wave for both of our oscillators. We have the level for our second oscillator turned down all the way, and that is because we're using it to FM our first one. Our FM amount is at 21%. Shoo, shoo. We are using a similar trick to our last sound with the pulse width modulation at 83% on our oscillator B to help shift the timbre of that sound and that affects the FM in a kind of similar way. I'll show you what happens as we turn that up. It's subtle, but it does definitely make a difference. We have a very basic pluck shape for our envelope one, and we are also using that to control the cutoff of a low pass filter, again, to just give it some more plucky motion. Then for effects, I just started by adding a low cut and a high boost with an EQ, followed by just a chorus again for some additional width, and just a delay and a reverb. Next thing I added was our 808s. basic, just a classic Zay 808 with some added saturation from Sausage Fatner. Then lastly, I added our drums. Snare, other snare, hi-hat, room shot where I took all that reverb out using our outfit, chain. Then I just bust those all to the mixer and sent them to a drum bus where I ran them through an instance of the Groovy Glue preset in Pro C2 and just a radiator uh, with the drum puncher preset on around 45% mix just to boost it again, kind of add some nice saturation. And that is everything. <laughs> access to the serum presets from this remake or any of my other remakes, you can get access to all of those on my Patreon at patreon.com slash period. I'll throw a link up in the corner of the screen right now. There's over 400 serum presets on there for $4 and the project files and everything from all my remakes, which there are over 180 of at this point. It's a really good way to support me and also a very good way to get some new sound if you are a music producer looking for that kind of thing. So yeah, I hope this was entertaining and informative and I will catch you next time. Peace.